Hello and welcome to one of our training courses at Shigella Training Center, commonly referred to as the Unit Standards course and also called the COC course sometimes. On this course, we train learners or people to do installation testing, which is a requirement for a certificate of compliance to be issued to any individual that owns a property or a house or that uses an electrical installation. The insulation resistance test needs to be carried out under certain conditions. One of those conditions being that power needs to be switched off. As can be seen at the distribution board, the power is switched off at my main switch and I've also got the earth leakage switched off. The loads need to be removed and all our switches need to be switched on. Okay. We are then going to perform this test using one of two meters. We can use the multifunction meter, which is a compliance meter, and an insulation tester, which is an individual meter that can be used to perform this test. With the multifunction tester, most of your 16 tests that are mentioned on the certificate of compliance can be done using that tester. With this tester, you can do the insulation resistance test, the continuity test, and the bonding continuity test. To start with, we want to remove the cover for this distribution board. And then we want to switch on our meter to be able to perform the test. Switching on the meter, at a minimum of 500 volts DC, and then I'm pressing the test button. As you can see, the meter indicates an OL sign, meaning that it is an infinity reading. That is, our insulation is perfect. We're then going to test on our conductors. The conductors in the distribution board are namely your live, which is indicated by the red wire, and then the neutral, which is indicated by the black wire. We need to have all our circuit breakers switched on, and we're going to perform this test. I'm then going to test below my earth leakage, with the earth leakage switched off, and the reading I get is still infinity. The reading required in terms of the regulations has to be above one mega ohm, and that reading on my tester shows me that it is above one mega ohm. The next test that we need to perform is the insulation resistance between the conductors and our earth. Our main earth bar is indicated at the bottom here. You would have noticed that the main supply earth has been removed. Because I want to now test the insulation between my installation and the conductors in my installation. The earth bar I test between the live and the earth and my reading indicator of meter is still infinity or OL, indicating that I have an insulation resistance that is higher than one mega ohm. I then need to test between my neutral and my earth and once again my reading on the meter shows me OL, which is indicative that the reading is infinity and it is above one mega ohm. That is the insulation resistance test that is being done on a single phase installation. For a three phase installation, you may have to test between all three phase conductors and between all three phase conductors and the neutral and then between the phase conductors and earth and the neutral and earth. We must note that this test should be done before power is switched on to the installation. This is a requirement in terms of ensuring that the installation is still safe for it to be powered on. I want to now switch off my meter and note that we injected 500 volts DC using this meter on this installation to test it. The insulation resistance test, like mentioned earlier, 
is one of 16 tests that requires to be done before a certificate of compliance can be issued to any customer or any owner or user of the electrical installation. At Shukela Training Centre, we run this unit standards course for people that want to become registered as single phase testers or installation electricians.